Mods of Honor Now Season 3 is quickly approaching, and in the next month, September, we are getting three new monsters. Magnamalo, Rajang, and Akmasong. Magnamalo is the flagship monster of Monster Hunter Rats, so it's gonna be another exciting hunt. We're also getting a new weapon, the Heavy Boga. Season 3 will once again shake up the meta, so I'm here to tell you the three things you need to do so that you're ready for Monster Hunter Now's Season 3. First, we have to prepare the builds we're going to use to hunt the new monsters. Magnamalo is weak against water and thunder, and so is Aknosong. So it's no wonder why Season 2 is ending with a Mizutsune and a Zinogre event. This will be the perfect opportunity to complete your water and thunder armor sets, and of course, strengthen your weapons. In Monster Hunter Rise, these two monsters are weakest to the water element. So I suggest farming a lot of Mizutsunes and try to upgrade your water weapons as high as possible. This is the water build that I'm currently using for my Mizutsune dual blades. I have equipped the Coral Puge Helm, Jura Mail and Van Braces, and the Pink Rathian Waist and the Jagras Legs. Overall, my build has Water Attack 5, Crit Eye 3, and Wex 2. I managed to get an extra point of Crit Eye on my Pink Rathian Waist, that's why I have Crit Eye Level 3. My Dual Blades is only at Grade 9, so before Season 3 starts, my goal is to get enough Mizutsune Plates to overgrade it to Grade 10. To further improve this armor set, I want to get an extra water attack drift skill so that I can swap out the Jura Mail for the Rathalos Mail and get more weakness exploit. Now for Rajang, its main weakness is ice. So ready your ice builds and make sure they have high defense. Cause this monkey is known to be very aggressive. <coughs> that covers their elemental weaknesses. Now, let's talk about status weaknesses. Rajang and Aknasom are weak to blast, so Teostra weapons will come in handy. But don't try to use it against Magnamalo. It's resistant to blast and the other status ailments are also not very effective. Magnamalo will also introduce a new set of blast weapons in Monster Hunter now, so it's looking like blast will be very strong in Season 3. Now when this new season drops, it will also add a new story questline, and some monsters will become temporarily unavailable. You'll have to unlock them again by completing their urgent quest in the new Season 3 storyline. After completing their respective urgent quests, they will start to appear on the field again. But some monsters in Season 3 will no longer be available in the Monster Tracker like Radoban, Bambaro, Tsitsiyaku, Odogaron, Basarios, and Kezu. In Season 3, these monsters will be harder to farm. So if you need materials from these monsters, take advantage of this time and track them down while you can. Now Season 3 is also introducing the Heavy Bogan, and who knows, this weapon might be overpowered, and you don't want to miss out on that chance. So I suggest you guys start investing on some armor pieces with recoil down and reload speed. For light bowgun mains, this won't be a problem since you guys already have these armor pieces ready. But for some, like me who primarily uses melee weapons, I have to start upgrading these armor pieces if I want to be ready when the heavy bowgun drops next season. These two skills will play a very important role in our heavy bowgun builds, and I think recoil down will be essential. That's what I'll be farming for the next few weeks. Season 3 is going to be another exciting season. The new monsters are awesome and I can't wait to get my hands on the heavy bowgun. I'm so excited to machine gun down some monsters using the wyvern hard ammo. Plus, we also have Monster Hunter Now's one year anniversary. Now, I just can't believe that it's already been a year. I wonder how Niantic will celebrate this milestone. I'm expecting a big celebration. But for now, I'm very excited for Magnamalo and Rajat. Now I can already tell that Blast will be very strong in Season 3. 
With the addition of Magna Malo and a new set of blast weapons, you don't want to miss out on those. So if you're looking for a blast build, be sure to check out this video next.